Nobody ever changed the world on 40 hours a week. These are the words of multi-billionaire entrepreneur Elon Musk, who not only runs two of the most innovative companies of current times, Tesla and SpaceX, but also juggles travel, interviews, and a family of five teenage sons on a daily basis. It's no secret that Elon Musk's fruitful ventures have been built off the back of hard work, dedication, and smart decision-making. But what about the details? Wouldn't it be great to see how the most influential man in the world organizes his time and manages to cram everything into a seemingly impossible schedule? In today's video, we're pulling back the curtain and giving you an insight into a day in the life of Elon Musk. Morning routine. There seems to be a great divide between business tycoons as to how much sleep is needed to stay at the top of their game. Jeff Bezos likes to wake up naturally without an alarm, whereas Donald Trump swears by just three to four hours a night. Musk sits somewhere in the middle of these extremes and says that six hours is his sweet spot, although he doesn't rise as early as you might think. After a long, hard day at work and a little wind down in the evening, he says that he often only gets to bed well past midnight, so he usually sets the alarm for 7 a.m. After he's slapped his bedside ringer, you'd think that it would be time to do some stretching, grab a cup of coffee, and maybe sit with the morning paper. However, Musk prefers to jump straight into what he calls critical emails for his first half hour of consciousness. He's yet to discuss exactly what these essential emails are and why he needs to address them so early in the day, but we imagine most of them are to confirm daily meetings and to give the green light on project milestones. Breakfast. Once the emails have been checked off the list, Musk likes to get his morning routine into full swing by taking his much-anticipated daily shower. While many members of the Forbes Rich List swear by ice-cold showers to get their productivity levels soaring, Musk prefers his hot without any Wim Hof methodology. With such a hectic schedule, something as simple as a daily shower can make for a great moment of peace and a breakaway from the constant noise of emails, texts and phone calls. It's also good to know that he respects his personal hygiene. Towel dried and into his typical white button-up workwear, Elon usually skips breakfast in favour of some more email checking before getting his shoes on ready for the school run. School run. You might find it odd that a man worth $36.7 billion would be doing the school run himself, but it's not all that strange when you find out that his five boys school at his SpaceX campus. In 2014, Musk pulled all of his children out of their private educations and co-founded an entirely new school for them to attend. He didn't believe that the current schooling system in the US was adequate or effective, so he decided to design one for himself, calling it Ad Astra, after the Latin phrase for to the stars. The school has just 30 students, mostly made up of SpaceX employee children, and is exclusive to only the most highly gifted. Out of the 100 students that apply every year, only 10 to 12 make the cut. Those that do meet the requirements follow a curriculum far different from what's considered normal. Ethics, science, engineering and maths are the principal subjects. Handwriting is replaced by keyboards, and there's a lot of focus on artificial intelligence. It's almost like Musk is priming the perfect workforce for the next generation of SpaceX and Tesla employees. Educational visions aside, having his kids school right by one of his main workplaces is a massive convenience and makes the school run an incredibly easy part of the day. Workday. With the kids sorted, it's time for Elon to get to business. As a notoriously dedicated worker, Musk does not skimp out on the hours, although he does prioritize working equally smart as he does hard. In the early years of Tesla and SpaceX, Musk reports working up to 180-hour weeks, which sometimes saw him catching his rest on the factory floor. That schedule took a toll on his mental state and general health for obvious reasons, so he has since decided to stick to around 80 to 90 hours a week max. Now that's still double the average 40-hour week that most people adhere to. However, Musk isn't exactly most people. To make his working week more manageable, he chooses to fragment his time into five-minute slots. Five minutes might not sound like enough time to even think about getting something done, but Musk swears by this practice and says that many people would be surprised at how much they could achieve in such a small amount of time if they give the task at hand 100% of their attention. Musk splits his work weeks between both of his main companies, spending Mondays and Fridays at SpaceX and Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday at Tesla. Work for his side hustles, such as The Boring Company, usually takes place remotely or on an as-and-when-needed basis. Lunch. After skipping breakfast, you'd think that Musk would be rather ravenous by the time lunch came around. 
However, he must have a small stomach because he still insists on abiding by his five minute time slots, woofing whatever he can get his hands on as quickly as he can. Most of his lunches are brought to him during meetings, whether it be an omelette, salad or a few slices of pizza. It appears that food is a simple means of fuel to Musk and more of an inconvenience than anything else. Meetings Talking of meetings, regular stop-ins with his various teams take up a huge proportion of Elon Musk's day. So much so that he's devised a set of meeting rules that he follows religiously. Rule number one is no large meetings. Musk believes strongly in only having essential people attend meetings and says that most should include four to six people at a maximum. Rule number two is if you're not adding value to a meeting, leave. This might sound a little extreme or rude, but Musk sees it as quite the opposite. In fact, he actually expected it of his team. He says that it's not rude to leave a meeting, but it is rude to make someone stay and to waste their time. Rule number three is no frequent meetings. This does seem hypocritical for a man who has so many meetings, but imagine how many he would have if he didn't enforce this mindset. Musk values his time, so he doesn't want to waste even a second of it on unnecessary chat. Meetings should be reserved for high-priority issues, and once said issues have been resolved, meeting frequency should drop rapidly and cease as soon as possible. Other work While it might seem as if Musk is a little bit of a frontman for his companies, this could not be any further from the truth. While he is a big part of both Tesla and SpaceX's branding, Elon Musk is a man of both ideas and application, whose talents lie in bringing imaginative plans to life. Despite what many people think, Musk spends the majority of his time physically working on his ideas, with 80% of his day being spent on engineering and design. Elon Musk has a very dominating work ethic of if it doesn't improve the project, then we shouldn't be doing it. And that is exactly why he spends very little on advertising, and instead prefers to pump that money and effort into other areas such as product development and refinement. Email check in the bathroom. Throughout his busy workday, Musk always makes time for regular bathroom breaks and says that nature's calling is a fantastic time to check some emails and get a few moments of peace. I'm not sure how peaceful it is to still be working even when going to the toilet, but at least it's a change of scenery. After work. You'd think that after such a hectic day, clocking out would be a fantastic opportunity to wind down, but that is far easier said than done. After work, Musk says that he still likes to get a few things done, such as working out at the gym, going out for dinner, and getting into a good book. After putting so much time and effort into his day, it can be incredibly difficult to fully switch off completely, and he says that he's guilty of replying to emails and letting projects occupy his mind even when trying to relax. But he also says that he finds it far easier to disconnect on the weekends. If in the midst of a particularly challenging project, he might pull a few hours on a Saturday, but other than that, Saturdays are for doing things that he enjoys, such as spending quality time with his boys. Sundays are a far more relaxed affair and are reserved for reflection on the week and complete mental refresh, which I'm sure is much needed after 90 hours of being pulled in a hundred different directions. Bedtime. When it's finally time to settle, the clock will usually be ticking in the early hours of the morning, around 1am. Then it's six hours of sleep to be back at it again the very next day. Musk's energy tank seems to be entirely bottomless, especially when you consider that he has followed this routine for not only months, but for years. This sort of lifestyle might not be for everybody, but one thing that's for sure is that it has certainly paid off. Elon Musk is one of the most successful entrepreneurs out there, and his bountiful career is definitely not a product of pure luck. Whether or not this lifestyle will be sustained indefinitely is uncertain, although as his companies mature and settle into their places as industry leaders, I'm sure that Musk will be able to shave a few extra hours off of his day and hopefully find some time to grab a bowl of cereal in the mornings. <laughs>